minutes, and then we got 30 minutes of Q&A, so we'll drop right into this. I came with new material. I don't, I don't ever go anywhere and say, I'm just going to regurgitate or give you purgatory or give you age of deception or divine secession or any of those. I'm going to go into the end of an era, or is it more than that? Pluto's end in Capricorn is an odd ingress into Aquarius, 2023 into 2024. We're about to go through something that we consciously as humans have never gone through before. Witness Pluto move into the weirdest part of the zodiac ever. And why is it so weird? Well, when we know the Revolutionary War, we understand the founding of this country, all came during this period that we're about to go through. But even weirder about understanding Pluto's orbit and that over these last couple of years we've watched Pluto fall into the underworld, which I'll actually physically show you at the same time. But let's take a look and see what's going on today. We will deal with weirdness. Aquarius is weird. It's outsiders, it's different, it's alien. Remember, Saturn's the original ruler of Aquarius, but so is Uranus. So we've been through a very tough period in all of our lives because what? Saturn's also Capricorn, right? Saturn rules Capricorn. So just think of since December 21st of 2017 when Saturn came into Capricorn and where we're at now, Saturn's been in its own house this whole time. So you've all been through, we, I mean, we go through it like all the time, but it's actually literally the bottom of the zodiac, the lead, the iron. You know, I was just at lunch right now with Robert, and I was telling you how much I love Saturn and Leo. It was a fun time. If you didn't have big tits, it was like, oh my god, now if you have too big, it's like, Jesus. I used to be in cuddle puddles, and we used to like make out with each other and rub each other's back, and now everybody's got COVID masks on. So... We've all been through a lot of Aquarius, though, and especially since 2020 when Saturn ingressed in. And then we had Jupiter and Saturn, which was an 800-year cycle that we hadn't seen where the two planets looked like one star together. So we've all gotten a good taste of Aquarius, but Pluto drills. It gets to the very deep root and to the bottom, and it's obsessive, and it's compulsive, and it's going to get to things. So if you think this whole weird vibe is gone, you're crazy. Which is kind of funny because some people think Aquarius is crazy, but it's genius. It's Pisces that can you can lose your mind and go crazy. <laughs> but to think that this weirdness and oddness is going away, we haven't even seen the tip of the iceberg at all yet. We're, like, we're just good. We're going to finally go deep, deep, deep. One, just Foreign entities. I'm going to go into that today. Are, are the foreign entities foreign governments or foreign countries? Usually that's Sagittarius, but you can move that also with Uranus. You can move that with people that we don't know, right? People that just come out of nowhere, strangers in the night. It's very Pluto and Aquarius. But it's also alien. But, you know, when people associate alien, they think aliens from another planet or anything like that, but it's always what Aquarius teaches us is whatever we think it is, it isn't. It's something completely different. Uranus shocks us by doing something we never thought of. Like, fuck, I didn't even think that my tire would blow. Right? When it first happens to you, you have to go through that experience even though everything's all good and you're singing in the car and then, ah, oh shit! Didn't expect that one to happen. It's always what you're never thinking of. So if you're thinking it, it's not going to happen. That's Aquarius. Especially when you meet an Aquarius in life, it's always when you weren't expecting to meet an Aquarius. You know what I mean? It's like, or have you ever tried to get an Aquarius back in a relationship? They'll never go back and they're already gone. So there's that energy of disconnection. Bye bye. It's like, they're the ones who get the keys and, you know, after the one night stand and they're out the door and they wake up, where did they go? No talk. Science transformation. We've seen science, you know, it's kind of interesting. Newsweek does man of the year. I mean, sorry, person of the year. No. 
about it. Hitler's, of course, been on that list. So has Stalin. But it was weird in 1960 when it was speakers and science was the person of the year. And it's kind of interesting because 1960 was the same Jupiter-Saturn cycle that we just were in in 2020, leaving Capricorn coming into Aquarius, and JFK came on the scene, the youngest president, and now we have the oldest president to ever come in. So that's always the weird thing with astrology, when you try to predict with Aquarius, oh God, it looks like it should be a young person, oh wait, it's the oldest guy. <laughs> But it's interesting that we are in the same pattern and we've seen everything from science being blasted as the new religion now. And they tried to do it back in the 60s too with beakers as news, you know. I, mean, I couldn't even believe it, but it was crazy time. Person of the year was beakers and science. But this is going to be a crazy transformation that I don't think people think the Jetson life is coming. Yep. Mm, that's what they keep showing. Probably not going to happen. Or that technology and science are going to merge and create this extreme life that we have to be afraid of. There's probably going to be some of that, but it's not going to fully work. I'm going to go into that. System resets. In life, Aquarius comes around to disrupt in order for us to move on. It's a hard planet, Uranus, because it shows up in your life and it's like, it's done, it's old, we got to move on to something new. And so... You know, when we hear the Great Reset, that's a stolen term by these dark entities out there that try to scare you. The Divine Resets are Uranian. And so, whether we like it or not, we're facing a reset in every system. And you can't have yourself be locked into, I don't want to reset in any way. Because guess what? And we're all not moving forward because we already know the system sucks. It's got to go somewhere. And Aquarius rules people, so it's us people that have to go create what the reset is. Not others, but that's the weird part of Aquarius, is that it is others. And with Pluto there, it's the fear that others are doing things. And we haven't even felt that yet. You've already gotten a sneak preview. It's when do you decide to commit to being the other instead of being the one that's witnessing others changing your life the way that you don't want to. You think COVID was bad? And how they tried to take over your life? That was very Capricornian. Aquarian. I'll show you some of the history and then we go deeper into that. You gotta, you gotta start thinking like that. Everything that's been propagated about what's going on is not true. That's what's going to be the mind blow of the shadow reality. It's like, they all have been in on it. You know, I have too many pictures I've seen of Hillary and Trump. Yeah. And Epstein. Trump. And the whole gang is in on the play. It's the best play we've ever seen. If we were really Americans, and you were all in those parts of America, and you all had the ultimate plan to save this place and take over and fuck everybody? Guess what? You would all fucking play. You would all play. We're watching the best play of all time. <laughs> and even though we've all fallen for the play because it's part of it, it's supposed to be that good, right? You're supposed to actually lose yourself in the movie and be like, damn, I thought I was there. I was rooting for him. Fuck it out. Da, da, da. But Pluto Aquarius is going to teach you to remove yourself from it. Um. You know, like, God, you know, like, that porn was really good, but it doesn't do really good for me in my life. I gotta let it go. If I get okay, if I get right. I need to the napkins down I'm done with that. <laughs> you know, like, that, that's the, the, you know, or that movie that you like, or they remind right? Songs, right? They remind you of the ex that you hate. You know, it's like, I'm not gonna listen to that one. Why? That's the story of a world that will blow your mind. They're all in the same boat. It's all, it's all too perfect. Does that make sense? It's too perfect. Like, it's like, you know, I'm like, I do live in Hollywood. I've been on TV shows my whole life, and I've done reality TV with some of the biggest ones in the world. And literally, I can tell you, I've walked how it works, and I know how to go with it, even though it's not scripted, it's scripted without the script. 
think that. I know when my moment on camera is supposed to be, because that's the only way you get on camera. If you're going to sit in a reality show on the couch and too nervous, they're not going to. Number one, you would never get casted because they've already put you through enough mental fucking crazy shit and tests that you have to take and fucking interviews and all these crazy things to, to make sure that you're not one of those people. But it's like they already profile you, whether it's My Myers Briggs to everything. And they know how to put the right personalities in the right place at the right thing and fucking turn the cameras on and know that the script already is written without it being written. It's and all those players in Hollywood and all those players that we see now with Saturn Pluto that happened in Capricorn is your new Hollywood is Washington, D.C. Back. And so it's the best show you've ever watched. And it's all been too perfect because... Is it really all actually happening? Did COVID actually happen? She to get you to go get a shot? Did all those things really happen to make you fall out and do all these things? That's what's going to be the mind blow. Like, did, 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 did Trump really get impeached twice? Did the, did the insurrection really happen in that kind of fashion and way? You know, I thought it was really interesting on that January 6th, that was Mars crossing from Aquarius, or from Capricorn into Aquarius, the same thing that happened on the night that Trump won. Right. And I remember looking at that chart being like, this is going to be fucking crazy. Yeah. Like, whatever, something's going to happen big. And, you know, that was also right after the Mars uh, South Node um, stuff that was 2020 and the 9 11. Like, all of this has been a 9 11, the longest 9 11 story of our life. We don't know who the terrorists are yet. And they're going to they're gonna convince you better than box cutters and Bin Laden. And don't fall for it. And it's going to look so real. I see. Because they've got everybody on every every side. They've got the left, they've got the right, they've got everybody in, you know? So they've got everybody in, and so whatever comes out, it's going to fucking, yeah. you know, make people fight over it, and then they'll throw another piece to it to where they finally get it. The supercomputer has already got this figured out. They've got all of your metadata over this polar Capricorn, a total control. They know when you broke up with that person, they know when you late texted that person, they know what picture that you sent, they know every little bit about what you've been doing. That thing knows. So if you were to sit on that little computer system and go, mm, at what hour do all Americans usually break up at and over what? Two seconds later, Okay. You guys hearing this one? Hey, get in this room here. <laughs> Write that down. Add that to the script. Um, what, how do all the people fall for the same story? What is the common denominator that every American, man, woman, gay, transgender, of every age subset, what is the one picture or gif or thing that they all have in common. Boom! Here you go. That's what people are not thinking about. <laughs> that this was Pluto Capricorn the whole time. It looked like it was a revolution of technology when it was really your jail that you're going to have to break out of. Let me watch that. And then he disappeared. Look at the true Pisces. Right? One day, a magician. The other day, a frail, weird-looking dude where you're like, I won't miss him. <laughs> and that whole bullshit of his, his death, like, don't work so hard till you don't have to pay attention to your life and all this bullshit. Jesus Christ. You know, you're eating fucking 
peanuts and almonds. That's it. That's all you get. Okay, for you. Like the last two years of his life, he was like obsessed with that. And he obviously fucking played in the wrong butthole. So, you know, like. I'm sorry that the, the almonds. I'm sorry that FC told you the almonds will get rid of it, but it, it, he was laughing because you set up the program for him. You know, it was. It, it's crazy if you look up New Mexico. Type in New Mexico Epstein House when you know Epstein got arrested and captured, right? It was all the Harvard professors and science and so forth of DNA that, that he was obsessed with. So everybody goes to the sex trafficking in a sex island. It's the New Mexico House where he wanted to inject his own DNA in every human being because he thought they were all stupid. What do you think the shot does? And what do you think the code is? It's Epstein's code, and they all were friends, too. What is that? Just... It's all been an illusion. Like, go over here. Because if you know what a red herring is, when you train a dog to be a hunting dog, you create a red herring. You take a red herring and you throw a different scent. So when you get the scent of ducks, you get the scent of... You know, deer and fawn and all these things, right? For the hunting dogs, but when you throw a red herring in, if the dog doesn't decipher, go, that's not it. I'm gonna pass that and keep going to it. Then it's a fucking shitty hunting dog. And you should take a shotgun and no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. I, got, I, I thought I was in Texas. People would be on my team on this one. But when it's dogs, no, 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 in California, man, they got that. They the motherfuckers like, pop, pop, that fucking dog didn't do shit. <laughs> you know, yes, that's central. You know, they had dog fights with them, you know what I mean? You still think that we're weak over there? We got all the gangsters, don't forget about that shit. We all, we all fucking are light and on our feet. Like, these are the things that you gotta start thinking, you know? Like, you that? But yeah, that's the only question. Please come out. Yes, please. The crowd. Change. 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 Somehow obscure them by getting into our system. Like uh, you're talking about the bureau or Latinx. Yeah. Is this totally bullshit or, or well, is it a, like there that might? Because have you seen lately the pictures that people are taking off? Is this bullshit too? Because I see it and I, I tend to look in my walls. I'm curious. And if this will actually somehow also affect all the other planets, and with it, that change to be something else, more even a few more of thoughts. Am I tripping? <laughs> no, no, there's no, there's no such thing as tripping, right? It's better to ask the questions, or how this presentation is, I don't know if it all worked out that way. I'm just having people, like, fucking think what they're not thinking, right? That's what Aquarius is supposed to be. Supposed to be. And I'm not an Aquarius, I'm a Leo. I shouldn't be thinking, I should be back at my home and fucking like all set up like a king and fucking sitting there and having my girlfriend feed me grapes. I wouldn't have you do that, babe. But you know, like fucking, and just be chilling out and fucking saying, yo, shit, brother, brother, yeah. But no, it's like the Aquarians, like, come on. Um, think about, I want to go to what you said about people taking pictures with their phones. You don't want to set that. When you take your phone, and then get some light into it. Have you noticed, like, you're like, fuck, I need to change the angle. These are plastic. And also, they're through a control system. Yeah. Right? When they came out with the game Pokemon Go, it created something called augmented reality that takes pictures of your environment and then augments the reality of whatever they want to create. Like, 
You could remember that game, you could take it, and there'd be a Pokemon, and then a Pokemon? <laughs> and people are taking pictures of their phone. You think you have control of the whole thing? Like, you have no idea. That supercomputer just watched us so fast. We don't know what they could do to alter the shit, but I, I, that's just one crazy way to look at it. But the other thing is, the X Planet is extremely possible. There's been plenty of professors that have finally come out, especially out of UCLA, who have said, like, there's something off with the gravitational energies that are saying that there's got to be some other body out there to show up. And that's what it's going to be, that consciousness leaps when we found Uranus was with the telescope in the 1700s. When we found Neptune, which actually they say Galileo found it, but it was weird because he thought it was a star. And so anyway, he died. <laughs> so 1846 into 48, it was a brewer who brewed beer, who used the money to have a telescope, and there's two guys who found it, and they fought over it, but long story short, when Neptune came into Pisces is when we found Neptune, and then that's when we started having alcoholism, that's when we started having drugs, more is, that's when we started having illusions of, I'm going to be a gold, I'm going to get gold! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Beverly Hillbillies moment. And them oils from under here in Texas up in the Beverly Hills. So I did. Do you ever see that actually happen in real life? You never. Know. Well, I just felt. Yeah. That's true. Yes, one more question. Yeah, one more question. But yeah, oh, and then Pluto, of course, which is what I talked about, 1930, and what do they? What do we see? Depression. Darkness the exposing of what's really going on in so many ways and then the suppression of that to hide it, right? 